integration by trigonometric substitutions part three question number one integration sine q 2x plus 1 dx let 2x plus 1 equal to t this will get 2 dx equal to dt so we have dx equal to dt upon 2 now our equation becomes 1 by 2 sine cube t dt well this will give 1 by 2 and this can be written as sine square t times sine t dt which is further equal to 1 by 2 1 minus cos square t into sine t dt this can be written as 1 by 2 integration sine t dt minus 1 by 2 integration cos square t sine t dt first part will give 1 by 2 minus cos t minus second part 1 by 2 cos square t here we can put cos t equal to u so if we write cos t equal to u minus sin t dt will be d we have minus sin t dt so that will become du so plus integration cos t is u so plus integration u square d minus 1 by 2 cos t here t is 2x plus 1 so 2x plus 1 plus 1 by 2 this will become u cube by 3 plus c where u equal to cos t and t equal to 2x plus 1 so this will become minus 1 by 2 cos 2x plus 1 plus 1 by 6 which is the 6 u cube that is cos of 2x plus 1 q plus c let's go to next question question number two question number two is 1 minus cos x divided by 1 plus cos x dx here we can apply half angle formula 1 minus cos x equal to 2 sin square x by 2 and 1 plus cos x equal to 2 cos square x by 2. So our question becomes 2 sin square x by 2 divided by 2 cos square x by 2 dx which is equal to tan square x by 2 dx that can be written as integration sec square x by 2 minus 1 dx so integration sec square x by 2 dx minus integration dx so here we can put let x by 2 equal to t from where 1 by 2 dx equal to dt or dx will be 2 dt. So first term will become twice of integration. 
sec square t dt minus integration dx will give x and plus c integration of sec square t will give tan t 2 tan t minus x plus c here t equal to here we have assumed t x by 2 so our answer will be 2 tan x by 2 minus x plus c let's go to question number 3 question number 3 says integration cos x minus sin x dx divided by 1 plus sin 2x that will be equal to integration cos x minus sin x dx and this can be written as cos square x plus sin square x 1 equal to cos square x plus sin square x and sin 2x will be equal to 2 sin x times cos x which is equal to integration cos x minus sin x dx divided by cos x plus sin x whole square because cos square x plus sin square x plus 2 sin x cos x is cos x plus sin x whole square let cos x plus sin x equal to t it will give minus sin x plus cos x dx equal to d so our question becomes integration dt divided by t square or t power minus 2 dt which is equal to t power minus 1 divided by minus 1 plus c or minus 1 upon t plus c which is equal to minus 1 upon here t is cos x plus sin x cos x plus sin x plus c let's go to question number four question number four says integration sin inverse cos x dx cos x can be written as sin pi by 2 plus x or sin pi by 2 minus x anyone can be taken but answer will differ if we take this pi by 2 plus x in that case answer will be positive and if we take this then answer will be negative let's check this one so integration sin inverse sin pi by 2 plus x dx so sin inverse sin will cancel out so we will get integration pi by 2 plus x dx which will become pi by 2 x plus x square by 2 plus c let's go to question number 5 question number 5 says integration sin square x minus cos square x dx divided by sin square x cos square x we divide it separately so we will get 1 upon cos square x minus 1 upon sin square x dx which will become integration sec square x minus cosec square x dx integration sec square x gives tan x and integration cosec square x gives a minus cot x so here already minus sign is there so it will become plus cot x plus c now question number six question number six says integration e power x one plus x dx divided by cos square x dot e power x let x dot e power x equal to t we differentiate by using product rule so 
x into e power x plus e power x into 1 is equal to the upon dx. So e power x, x plus 1 dx equal to dt. Now the question becomes dt upon cos square t. This is integration. Take a square t dt. That will give tan t plus c, where t equal to x tan t equal to x dot e power x plus c. Now let's go to question number seven. Question number seven says we are given integration dx divided by sin x times cos cube x. So here, what we can do, we have to make necessary changes. So if we write it dx, this sin x into cos square x times cos x. So this will become integration set square x divided by sin x into cos x dx. Now further change is required set square x dx divided by here if we make it tan in sin x upon cos x, then to cancel this cos, we have to multiply one cos x, and one cos x is already there. So this will also become cos square x, and it will go in numerator, then it will get sec square x. So integration sec square x times sec square x dx divided by tan x. Further, we convert one sec square x into tan x, so it will become sec square x equal to one plus tan square x times sec square x divided by tan x times dx. Now here we can make assumption. Let sin x equal to t. From where we get sec square x dx will be equal to dt. So this term will convert it to dt. So what will be left? So it will be integration. This we have taken tan x equal to t, sec square x dx is dt. So 1 plus t square divided by t and dt, which is equal to integration dt upon t plus t dt. Now, first term will become log t plus second term will become t square upon 2 plus c, where we have taken t as tan x, so it will be log of tan x plus 1 by 2 and square x plus c, which is our answer. Thank you for watching.